I Chawan Hirarkwes Igrami Kilgzawaj Mur. My name is Piotr Kozłowski and this is part two of my short introduction to Lesgi, a fascinating language spoken in the Caucasus Mountains. Um, in this part, which is going to be quite a lot of fun, um, we'll talk a, a bit about uh, various aspects of uh, Lesgi language structure, its phonology, so sound system, and its grammar. Um, I think I think you will find uh, here um, a lot of uh, strange, unfamiliar stuff, especially if you've only had um, um, had contact so far with uh, Indo-European or East Asian languages, Lesgi, like uh, its sister languages of the uh, Nah Dagestanian East Caucasian uh, language family, is very very different from anything uh, you can um, you can find amongst the the major languages. Um, of the world, so to speak. Um, so uh, let's start with a with a small recap for those who haven't seen the uh, those of you who haven't seen the the first part. So Lesgi uh, is a, a Caucasian language uh, spoken in southern uh, Dagestan and northern Azerbaijan by more than half million people. It belongs to a family called uh, Nah Dagestanian or Northeast Caucasian. Uh, it's one of the largest language of uh, of that. Um, of that family, um, and it's quite uh, it's quite uh, uh, typical in in many ways, typical representative of uh, uh, of uh, Caucasian languages uh, uh, in um, in general. Uh, so 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 basically, this brief uh, this brief this, this description will give you uh, a sort of a gentle introduction into the family as a whole. Let's start with the sound system. Um, Lesgi vowels, which are not included here, uh, they're not 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 too many of them. Basically, um, very simple system: uh, e, e, a, uh, u, and u. Uh, so six um, six vowel, six vowel sounds, not too many, uh, relatively simple. Uh, on the other hand, the consonantal system of, of Lesgi is quite complex. Depending on the analysis, you can count. Um, between 54 to 58 consonant phonemes, um, you can see um, the chart, the chart here, and already, um, already from uh, from the chart, you can uh, you can infer that uh, that basically many of the many of the sounds uh, are written with um, a combination of, of two letters, like the ones here, um, or or even three letters, like like here, or here. Or here, these sounds. So basically, um, so many, so many sounds uh, that um, uh, there is not enough uh, letters in the Cyrillic script to to write them all. And if you pay close attention, you will see that there is uh, in the orthography there is no difference between uh, unaspirated and aspirated sounds. So between pairs like p and p, uh, they're spelled um, they are spelled the same. There are Two uh, categories of, uh, of consonantal sounds, which are quite typical for uh, uh, to, to, to um, Caucasian languages, and they are responsible for the overall feel of the, how the languages sound like, and they 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 do come across as something a bit uh, harsh, you know, guttural. Um, so in Lesgi, you have on one um, uh, on one side you have quite a lot of uh, uvular sounds, which are pronounced in the uh, back of your uh, of your throat. So you have k, 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 r, h, h, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's one one type of um, of sound, throaty, throaty sounds. And but also what's uh, what's quite what's quite typical to this um, uh, language aria uh, is uh, the presence of so-called glottalized sounds, which are consonants pronounced with the construction of your of your glottis, where your uh, uh, vocal cords are so this um, this gives a um, impression sounds like a uh, like a small popping sound so uh, let me uh, let me pronounce it for you as you can see the last one is um, is a sound which is uh, glottalized and and uvular so that's a uh, that's a bit of uh, uh, maybe not necessarily tongue twister but uh, um, a good exercise for your uh, for your throat and and uvula to to pronounce, um, 
even even um, even if uh, uh, individual um, uh, lesbian consonants are maybe quite difficult to pronounce, uh, they the things don't stop here. They come in um, in groups, in pairs, in, in in larger groups, especially at the beginning of the word. Lesgi doesn't have uh, such formidable clusters like, for instance, um, Georgian is famous for, um, but um, it does have uh, uh, um, you know ones which are a bit of a mouthful. For instance, see on uh, the word stra. This means brother is very commonly used, or kueda. Uh, this means um, will return, or tkana. Um, this means um, has uh, has hit the target, uh, among other meanings. Okay, so it's a uh, in short, it's a. Uh, 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 Lesgi pronunciation will take you some time to to be uh, to become used to. Um, but it's um, let's move to 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 to, to other um, aspects of of, of, um, of language structure. Perhaps the most central one is so-called um, ergativity. Um, ergative construction uh, is it can be compared to, it's not an exact, exact comparison, but it can be compared to a, a passive voice like setup for transitive sentences. Transitive sentence is a sentence where you have somebody doing something to, um, um, to, somebody, to somebody else or to something else. So, so when, you, when the action has an object, something is acted upon. Okay, so uh, for uh, let's, let's, uh, let's see that at, um, uh, at, at a very simple um, Example of, of um, two sentences. The first, Ayal Xanwa, child is asleep. This is an intransitive se uh, sentence. Nothing is acted upon. The child is sleeping. So the child here, Ayal, is um, uh, in an unmarked case. It's, uh, um, it's the, the, the subject of the sentence. But uh, the other sentence, Didadi Ayal Xurna, uh, the mother put the child to sleep. Okay, so mother is is the doer, and uh, child is the recipient of the action. This is the object of the action, and you can notice that ayal is in the same case as uh, as in the first sentence, whereas mother, the doer, gets something extra. So d d d. This d part here is uh, the suffix of the one of the suffixes of the ergative case. Um, so if uh, if you we wanted to say, if you wanted to say um, um, that the child put the mother to sleep, it would be the other way around. Though. So mother would be in a, um, in a in a form without ending, dida, and um, ayal would get an ergative ending. So it, so in in a, in a way uh, uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can refer to this construction as sort of uh, a sort of passive voice. So so. Um, child is being put asleep uh, was uh, has been put asleep by mo by mother but it's not really but it's not really not really that this is just an uh, uh, an um, inexact um, inexact comparison lesgi like its sister languages also have makes ex extensive use of um, uh, so called affective construction this is um, again the, the closest comparison um uh, would be English expressions. It looks to me. It seems to me. Um, okay, where the uh, the subject, the, the logical subject, um, is in the dative uh, dative case. For in Lesgi, m the vast majority of uh, maybe all uh, verbs of em emotion and perception, so seeing, hearing, feeling, um, you know, loving, um, are set up in this um, uh, set up sentences in this way. So, for instance, did this chpin ayal kanda, mother loves her child. Again, child uh, is in the unmarked case, as you can as you can see, no no case um, no case ending here. But did this is the dative case um, uh, ending. So literally, that, that it could be sort of false translated as to mother own child love. Kanda is a is a very nice verb. Uh, it means to love, it means to want, it, um, and some in, um, in another construction it's also used to express um, need. Uh, and again, this, 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 uh, um, this is quite typical of, of, of Caucasian languages that they have the same verb for those, uh, that, set of, um, that, set of, um, that set of meaning. 
Okay, uh, but apart from apart from um, from um, the basic cases such as the ergative and dative, uh, Lesgi has uh, again, like many of its sister language, the sister sister languages, um, has a very interesting matrix of local so-called local locative case um, series. So basically, from, you have um, combination suffixes, a combination of suffixes on nouns, which represent uh, location, so near something, under something, behind something, on something, or inside something, with directions. So whether being stationary, so for instance, I am at, ho I am in home. That would be um, stationary, um, stationary, um, stationary form. Um, Zoom. Uh, um, but uh, you can also combine this this uh, location in in home uh, with uh, with uh, directive suffixes movement to or movement from a particular a particular um, place. Um, so in theory there should be um, fifteen you know, three times five fifteen uh, lo uh, locative cases, but uh, in practice one of them is replaced. Um, uh, by by dative, so there are fourteen locative um, cases in uh, in Lesgi in many of its um, sister sister languages. The system system is even more developed, so there's more more case form. What's uh, but what's uh, what's really interesting is that the basic meaning of that the the the, the meaning of location uh, is usually expressed in a different way. We'll get to it um, uh, later in, the, in in this part, but the uh, the locative cases are used figuratively, so many of them have other other usages. For instance, um, there is this this Lesgi very very common expression "chehi uh, daldi," which literally means uh, "on to movement to to, to 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 the top of great respect," which means respectfully. Okay, and in general, this 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 case marked marked here on movement to um, serves to to, uh, to 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 create adverb like uh, constructions um, and it's it's also used um, to express uh, speaking in a language so in lesgi language uh, lesgi chalaldi okay so on to lesgi language literally okay so that's uh, that's one one example um, this um chaladan balkandi lai juan lam khsanya this is a sentence which literally means um one's own donkey is better than somebody else's horse uh, but it's uh, i include here to 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 illustrate this again the same location as before so on the horse but movement from okay so from top of the horse from top of the horse donkey is better okay so this is this 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 case combination um is used for to express comparison to compare it uh, another another interesting um, uh, interesting construction zavaita parar avun shodach so from near me it is it is it doesn't become to tell lies so I cannot I cannot I'm unable to tell a lie okay so this is this this um, this construction of uh, um, expresses um, expresses being able or not being able to do something it's also uh, and slightly modified form. It's also used for um, um, expressing uh, things done not on purpose, you know, by accidentally. It so happened to me that um, um, that something occur occurred. Okay, and last last example, Vibu um, Badikai. So from from under your father, Akluhomir. Don't talk about your father like that. Okay, so. Uh, the, uh, the, the the case w w which uh, um, literally means from under from underneath um, is is uh, regularly used to express uh, the idea of talking about something. Okay, so that's a that's I think a very very interesting um, interesting uh, 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 way of of of, uh, of expressing uh, expressing things and uh, and meanings. Um, Moving further in slightly um, slightly um, different uh, territory, but still still linked, um, Lesgi, uh, like many languages, 
um, differentiates between regular copula, which is the verb to be, I am someone. So, um, for instance, I am, um, I am lesgi would be would be said zun lesgi ya, where ya means is am are. Okay, but so 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 the, on one hand there is this 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 kind of verb to be, but um, the concept of being somewhere. Um, is expressed by a different verb called um, a locative um, uh, copula or local copula. It's um, its main form. It's awa, um, and it's also used um, uh, combined with the dative case um, to express possession. So, for instance, adas pul awa. There is money to him. Literally means he has money. But uh, lesgi goes uh, much uh, much beyond this because it has different um, versions of local copulas for each. Location, as we said, there are five locations, so we have correspondingly we have five a set of five um, five um, copulas expressing such ideas like as um, being near somewhere, being under somewhere, um, or being on somewhere, for instance. Um, so we can uh, we we see here Adav pul gva, he has money at the moment. So literally, this means there is money near him. Okay. Um, and uh, another figurative um, usage, adak kal kva, he is angry. Literally, uh, anger is under him. Another um, further uh, complication is that apart from from this nice set of uh, of verbs, all meaning to be, uh, we we also uh, also have in Lesky a set of copulas which express the concept of still being somewhere. Okay, so Adas pul ama. He still has money, so there is still money to him. Compare this with Adas pul awa. He has money. Okay, he has money. He still has money. Adak kel kuma. Okay, adak kel kwa meant he's angry. Adak kel kuma. He's still angry. Okay, in the last example, vi rikel alamani. Ni is um, is a way to form questions. This literally this means. Is it still on your heart? But figuratively, this means, do you still remember? Because in Lesgi, um, there is a nice set of, uh, of metaphors, which, which are sometimes similar to the ones employed in European languages, but sometimes very different. And uh, you know, one of my favorite concepts is that heart is taken to be the place uh, memories are stored. But to be more exact, they are not stored um, in heart, they are stored on heart, okay? Um, so, for instance, in Lesgi, um, you can have verbs like rikalai uh, alatun, to fall from, from somebody's heart, which means to forget. It fell, from, it fell down from my heart, I forgot about it. But this is a sort of a accidental forgetfulness, like it, it, it fell, it's not, no, no longer there. But you can also say rikalai uh, aludun, this means to take down from um, from heart, uh, this um, implies you know, purposeful action. So I wanted to forget, so I took it took it down from my um, from my heart. I think I think this is a, this is a nice uh, a nice nuance, nice 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 expression. Another interesting um, uh, interesting I mean, to me at least uh, um, quite fascinating metaphor is how Lesgi expresses some of the. Uh, cardinal points, you know, points of compass. Uh, north is Keferpad and south is Kiblepad. Um, and both of those words are um, are related uh, related to, to the religion, to 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 to, uh, to Islam. So Kible is the uh, the direction of uh, of prayer, the re direction um, towards Mecca. So this quite quite naturally this expresses south because Mecca is southwards from. From um, uh, from where let's go sleep, but um, what's really interesting is that keferpad um, means literally, or is uh, is linked to the word meaning unbelief kuf in Arabic. Okay, so the north side is where the non-believers are. Okay, so this is like this is this this is the uh, the association uh, which may 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 come from from uh, from the way the uh, the cardinal points are um, are expressed in in Lesgi. Uh, so that would be that would be it for this very 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 short uh, 
um, um, short illustration of various uh, various interesting aspects of of, uh, of uh, Lesgi as a language. The one final note I sh would like to, to to really emphasize is that uh, Lesgi, just like any other language, it's not static; it is changing, right? So, and we can um, we can see it very well, especially if we compare um, compare um, how Lesgi is spoken right now to what we know about it from uh, mid nineteenth century, the first. Uh, um, the first formal grammatical uh, description made by uh, Piotr Uslar. We can see that, for instance, uh, many of the formidable initial clusters that I mentioned, like well, words like stra, uh, they used to be uh, pronounced differently. There used to be a vowel between, between the consonants. So, for instance, the word for brother, which is now stra, uh, used to be pronounced sitra. Okay? Uh, the language changed in that, in, in that way. Um, another another uh, bit of language evolution evolving basically in front of uh, in front of our eyes is um, the locative cases being um, uh, slowly falling out of use and being replaced with postpositions. So, for instance, um, uh, in place of of the case marker v, which expresses the meaning uh, near near something. Uh, Normally, you would say uh, you would uh, you would use the, the the noun in the genitive case, and then uh, the postposition patav. Okay, so uh, this this literally means near the side, but it's used as as a as a postposition meaning um, meaning near. So, for instance, um, near near the house, near home, um, could be expressed as qualif um, um, or Kualin patav, okay. So the the first uh, the first uh, the first construction construction marks the case on the noun, and the second uh, um, replaces it with the in postposition. The same with uh, with several several other um, other case forms. Uh, another another bit of um, of language change is that you know traditionally in Lesgi there is um, no way. Um, to mark politeness grammatically, you you address everybody um, the same way, grammatically the same way. Of course, you, you can use uh, you use different words, and you can express your respect or politeness by your vocabulary choice. But there is no grammatical way of doing that. But under influence on Rus of Russian, where in Russian you use polite uh, as a polite pro um, pronoun, you use the the polite pl plural plural the. I've noticed that many Lesgis started to use uh, the pronoun kun, no. you all, uh, also when they are talking to one person as a, to, uh, as a marker of, of, um, of politeness. Okay, and this already points out to, to basically the, the major ch challenge being, um, being faced by, um, by Lesgi and its speakers right now, which is that um, they they, they, they are vulnerable to effect of, of, of uh, modern state policies, um, so education in national languages, and also our, uh, urbanization, so, so movement of people from, from villages where everybody spoke the, uh, the same language, in this case um, Lesgi, into cities which are multilingual and, um, and other languages, the state languages, serve as, um, as lingua franca, as language of communication between, between people do, um, belonging to different um, different ethnic groups. So this has led to a new kind of multilingualism. In the first part, I mentioned briefly what was the traditional multilingualism about um, among, um, among the Lesgis. But today, uh, there is a new kind of it, which uh, basically consists of um, using Lesgi at home, um, learning the national, the state language, uh, so, Azerbaijani, so Azerbaijani or um, or Russian at school and using it in in in, um, uh, in the context of uh, of, um, of city life, and 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 then adding on top of that, um, learning one of the you know world languages. So for instance, almost everybody learns English to some extent. Some people learn German or or French or um, any any other you know major um, major world languages. Uh, so this. Um, this creates uh, a situation in which um, Lesgi is um, is used uh, 
less and less, especially among the younger generation, and especially uh, particularly among people who live in um, in cities, especially outside the um, uh, lesbian speaking areas, so, so so you know far away, uh, like in Moscow and St. Petersburg, uh, elsewhere. So there is language shift is happening. Uh, there are lesbian people uh, who uh, who are not. Uh, you know, fully fully proficient in the language, are not used to using it actively. The last line I, I, I wrote here, I understand but cannot speak. Uh, this is, this sums up, uh, comes up uh, um, quite often. Quite many people, uh, you know, um, describe their language competences uh, uh, in this way. I understand it, cannot speak it. This in turn creates some um, great concerns among the lesbians. Uh, the concerns for the future of uh, of uh, of their um, of their language, and um, they are doing quite a lot to 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 uh, to prevent uh, to prevent the language shift, the language loss from happening. Um, I will uh, I will talk about it in the um, in the third third part of the series, and um, I encourage you to watch it. Uh, but uh, for the time being, chance uh, agrai. Thank you very much for watching this one, and um, hope to see you um, soon. Uh, you can you can uh, you can contact me um, by following one of the one of the uh, links or addresses uh, here. Enjoy the rest of the uh, conferences conference, and um, see you soon.